Hello there, I'm Alboido, and welcome back to From the Depths. So, last night I demoed the Lancaster Bomber, and I had a little thought. What if I changed it around and added frag rounds instead? So, that's what I've done. If we have a little notice in here, you'll see I've added four frag rounds at varying degrees between 10 and 45 degrees. So, Let's give it a little test against a couple of ships. Um, I already have a theory that it would probably be effective against the lighter ships. However, it would probably not be quite as efficient against other ships. And I've just, I've just broken everything. <laughs> nope. I, it appears that I was just doing a trick. I meant to do that. Anyway, yeah. So let's test it out and see how well fireground's do in comparison to our normal selection of bombs. I look forward to finding out. Okay then, and for the first test, I'm going to use the Z37 by Trigger Happy, a ship that I really do love using for nearly every single thing that I ever combat test. However, it's a beautiful ship, and it's got good little AA features here, so it's been pretty interesting. For the sake of being OP, we're going to spawn three frag Lancasters in. Uh, let's see. Let's move it a bit further out. No, I like it there. So yeah, let's spawn in three frag Lancasters. And there's one. Here's two. And here's three. Okay, three frag Lancasters. All coming in there. I've learned about the binoculars today. It's been pretty, pretty productive. So, first Lancaster is making its way in. And the bomb's not quite hitting, but I said 37 once. So, the Lancaster sent in the first salvo. I wonder if they're going to connect. I hope they will. And that seems pretty good. So, first salvo. That's left some pretty bad marks. Ooh, second salvo and another salvo. That's two at once. This can't be good for Z37. And one salvo landed in the water, so that's not too effective. The forward part of the bow there seems to be damaged quite a fair bit. That time it, did it dodge it? Nope. <laughs> nope, it definitely did. That's now taken out that middle part of the ship. So down goes that AA launcher. And yep, there goes both midship magazines. Well thanks to this one Lancaster over here, it appears to be missing its tail. They do look quite beautiful from afar. And that rear gun, I was going to drop it so I could have a propeller version, but I think I'm going to keep it. And now the wreckage of what used to be the Z-37. Oh, that looks beautiful. This bomb's just dumping their way in. I think that's the bow. Yep, down goes the bow on that one. Although one seven thirty seven yeah, one line cast has been knocked out of the sky. But I just 
say that's one ship pretty much taken down. It's a bit gutting I had a lovely piece of footage last night, but I was very, very tired of the first test I did before I properly recorded. And in the first salvo, the bow of the Z-37 got blown up immediately. But, as we see against a uh, thin ship like that, I'd say the frag rounds did a trick pretty damn well. Let's try against something a little bit bigger. Okay, I've got a lovely little replica someone made of the Bismarck. I honestly cannot remember who made it. I'll put a link in the description if possible though. Course, it's one of the first ships I downloaded because look at it, it's lovely, it's big, it's got that size, and it looks a beast. When you first get the game, it, it's a fantastic thing to have. Anyway, let's get spawning in Lancasters. So, again, same Lancaster frags, nothing different. And let's see what sort of mischief they can do. Use your set of three. And. <laughs> this one's not quite as effective in the anti airfield, but I, I thought it's been a while since I last spawned it in, so why not? I need to fix the nose, but it do look so good. Okay. And that f first salvo... Okay, so it appears in the first set of bombing runs, the Lancasters effectively began Bismarck juggling. I, I didn't know that was a thing until just now. Immediately, I suppose, with the intro of this video, I somewhat preempted this happening, but. I mean, for anything with an alloy or single wooden deck. The frag rounds are definitely a lot more effective. Um, against metal, probably not so much, but... That's just beautiful. And the Lancasters have done a bloody big load of damage here. So just those frag rounds have done a number on the base mark.
think one more lucky missile and it might actually split the ship in two. This is kind of what I'm hoping for. Have a lot of missiles. One more magazine. That is just very impressive. These land casts just cause absolute mayhem. I I think um well yeah definitely I'll put this up for the comment section here for you guys to decide. Do I retain the fact yeah, retain the high explosive shells I used in the original Lancasters, or should I try a jacked up Lancaster shell? Or just immediately change it all over to the high fragmentation ones that you just saw today turning this ship into pieces. See you all cool. I'm personally quite enjoying this. I mean, th this Bismarck, as you can tell, it was made in a very much earlier time of the game's development. I think before beam blocks were really a thing. And yeah, back then, though, this was a tough ship and a half. Nowadays people have got more used to the game mechanics, but... I believe this used to be a, fa a fairly tough one. One of my Lancasters? Oh, God. Oh, God. It appeared a Lancaster. This is blowing itself up. This mark's just been blown up from belief again. I'm just hanging on because I want that one bit to get blown off. You know, there's one bit of the ship that's preventing it from being blown to pieces. Well, I think the bow just got blown off. So, yeah. Um, one lap and cast it down from Friendly Fire. But other than that. I'd say they work pretty damn well. Oh yep, that stone's been blown clean off it. So, as this last one comes in, I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section below whether I should update the Steam Workshop with the fag 
Lancaster, or if I should keep it as it is with the high explosive Lancaster. Well, I noticed the flag is a bit more laggy, but my god, does that look beautiful? from a magazine that's begging to be gone up. Well, it's pretty comprehensive so far as damage goes. These Lancasters are beautiful. Right, right, I think they are. I always may disagree. I mean that the whole um, cockpit section needs redoing, but other than that, they just look great. Anyway, I'm gonna cut that off there. Uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and please let me know what you think. Oh. Probably see you tomorrow with um I think tomorrow might be another showcase, might be a bit of trying something. Or I might get back to playing Amnesia or SCP, it depends really upon how it goes. But for now, I've been El Bordo and take it easy.